guys and welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell that I'm looking particularly perky today. That is because after this video, we are heading right up to the happiest place on earth. That's right, Walt Disney World. Uh, I knew that I was going yesterday, so I asked you guys on Instagram if you'd be interested in seeing what I pack to go to, you know, the happiest place, my favorite place, the most magical place on earth. And all of you, well, most of you said, yes, you'd love to. So here I am surrounded by stuff, uh, ready to head, uh, well, ready to put them in the suitcase and then head to the happy place series of events. Let's get this rolling. If you knew me at all, I know that Disney is kind of part of me. It is a big part of my heart, a big part of my childhood and who I am now, and a passion of mine, as is styling and fashion. So when I get to merge the two together, it is like the perfect storm of everything sparkly and nice and love. And I don't know, I'm just saying like, pretty words right now, but you know what I'm saying. It is my favorite thing to get dressed for. I also take it rather seriously. So uh, yeah, this might be a little more intense than you're used to seeing, but hopefully you'll enjoy seeing my process and hopefully it'll help you maybe pack uh, for your future trips. I gotta give you a little side note before I start though. One, I'm a bit of an overpacker. My entire life I've been a bit of an overpacker and since I started blogging and YouTubing, YouTubing is that a verb? It's only gotten significantly worse and I take it a little seriously because of my OCD. Anyways, you don't need to pack this much. I'm just crazy. So just decide. No, it's just more fun for you to watch and learn from my mistakes maybe, but I think I got this thing down, I, I hope. We'll see. Let's get started. So first things first, I got some stuff already in my bag over here. Toiletries, which if one day you're interested in seeing what I pack on trips, I'll be happy to do it in another video, but I'm not gonna go through my deodorant and my razor. I don't know if you care. Uh, it's pretty big for what I usually pack. I usually pack like a little thing, but because we're going for six days, I figured I'd bring myself some options if I wanted to do a full face of glam. Also already in here, I've got a little pouch of costume jewelry, stuff like chokers and hoop earrings and just easy stuff to layer on last minute that you don't want to plan for in advance because it becomes a huge headache. So yeah, it's small, it's compact. I take it on all my trips. I kind of change it up depending on where we're going sometimes and not this time. It's just staying in there. Finally, I've got a curling iron, a hairbrush, some socks, really, really interesting stuff. Now, the stuff we really want to get to. The outfits. Uh, we are leaving for five days and therefore I am packing five outfits. That's not always the case. This is pretty reasonable for me anyways. Usually if it's five days and we're planning on doing the parks kind of two parks a day, meaning we'll do one in the morning and one at night and take a break in the afternoon, I'll pack two outfits a day, which is insane because I feel like I have to take pictures of every outfit and then I have to pack 10 outfits for five days. It's not smart. So this trip, I'm trying to learn from my past mistakes and because this will be more of a trip where we do one park a day, I'm packing five outfits, one for each day. I checked the weather. That's the first thing you should do before you leave on vacation, but I think that's common sense. You probably already did that. And it's ranging anywhere from like nine degrees to 27. So I gotta have a pretty wide spectrum over here. and I think I did that. So as I said, I pack in outfits, meaning I'm not bringing pants, shirts, shoes. I'm kind of doing it all pre, pre-planned. This also gives me the chance to see the color spectrum I've got going on right now. It's kind of black, red, gray, kind of neutrals. And that helps me pack my accessories. Therefore, I don't have to bring kind of one for every outfit. They kind of overlap, which, you know, saves myself some suitcase space. So my first outfit for the trip over here is this cute little Olivia Latan, Olympia Latan, I'm so sorry, shirt from Uniqlo. Little mini details, kind of tattoo aesthetic with a nice midi skirt that's kind of a faded black denim. I'm unfolding to refold. That's how much I love you guys. I also always choose my ears in advance. I don't buy ears every time I go in because I have kind of a collection. I've been to Disney uh, once or twice, so my ear collection's pretty, pretty epic. So I try to pack in advance. So I got myself shirt, dress, ears, and then sunglasses I'm gonna overlap with these other ones so I don't need one for this look. And I'll probably pair this guy with these Balenciaga sneakers and this adorable Christopher Rayburn Disney Mickey Mouse bag. So that's one, one outfit. I'm just double checking that I have the accessories I need for every outfit. So that goes in, one done. Second outfit is gonna be this little Marc Jacobs matchy matchy set. I got this on sale on Black Friday. Uh, it's a cute little sequin sweater with the matching denim skirt with the same sort of detail. Again, matched a pair of ears to go with. These are rhinestone from Disneyland's 60th anniversary. I don't know if you guys wanna hear all of my geek, uh, geek trivia about my ear collection. Maybe that'll be for another video. I don't know who would watch that, but I really respect the people that would. I also have these key Desi Perkins sunglasses, the high key, I think they're called, they're silver, which I think will go great with the great detail, the ears. As for shoes, I'm gonna be wearing these Masters of Arts. Uh, they're their Disney collection. They're pretty epic. They sent me this pair and I've been saving them for this trip. I've waited a while. I'm so excited to wear them. And as for bag, got some options, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead with this Coach Mickey ear one. So this one's here. Just I keep the accessories out while I go through all the outfits to make sure that they all, they're all kind of covered, though I can already tell by the colors that they already are. But just to be certain and to show you guys what's going with what, I thought I'd uh, keep them until the end. <laughs> My third outfit is gonna be something from the Lazio Pad uh, collection 
Last year, part was Mickey, part was 101 Dalmatians, part was Marie. This is actually from their collection. And I have yet to wear this Mickey t-shirt, which is super 90s reminiscent. It's kind of a 90s cut too, that oversized with leggings sort of a uh, sort of trend. And I'm gonna wear them with these baggy vintage Levi's, these super 90s reminiscent Adam Selman Lispex glasses, and some plain Mickey ears, because I want it to be kind of like cool, low key. I don't know if you're getting those vibes, but that's what I'm going for. As for the bag, I think this guy's gonna do it again. How cute is he, by the way? I have never worn him before, he's still got the tag. I also got him on sale because he used to be pretty pricey, but he's finally making the trip, and I think he's gonna come with me. I don't wanna put him in the bag. So yeah, that's outfit number three for day three, or whatever day I decide to wear it. For day number four, it might get a little chillier, so I packed something a little warmer. I got myself this, again, Lazy Oaf Grandpa cardigan with a gorgeous little Mickey Mouse in the front and the back, and some striped, um, detail on the sleeve. And this guy is gonna go great with an all black ensemble. So I've got myself some black ripped denim from Topshop, Jamie Jeans. If you know me, you know that this is like my holy grail jean. And this Marc Jacobs tee, which I also got on sale during Black Friday with that other stuff. So I got that red pop, which will be great with the sweater. And these uh, limited edition Mini Mi Paris ears that were for Par uh, Disneyland Paris's 25th anniversary. As I told you, I collection this. They all have a story. <laughs> As for sunglasses, I'm packing these Saint Laurent Heart Sunnies, which I think will add to the kind of ridiculous nature of this look. And I think for this guy, I'm gonna go with a little Chanel fanny pack, cause I don't know about you, but I bought the Chanel fanny pack for the parks. Uh, <laughs> and I think it'll be a great, easy way to carry my stuff around the theme parks all day. And for shoes, these Balenciaga snocks, snock, <laughs> sock sneakers are gonna go great. And they have a nice little sparkle detail, which I think will look lovely. So there you go, a little bit of a warmer look. I'm gonna have to work on my folding, I think afterwards. <laughs> the fifth and final outfit of this trip anyways, I've got myself a striped tee from Who, What, Where from Target and this mango Canadian tuxedo. That's right, you see that? That's Donald. How cute is this? I've been waiting forever to wear this and because it's January, the weather's kind of permitting me to wear it in the parks because it's not too hot. So I think this will look super adorable, especially with the stripes because it gives it a bit of a nautical theme and we all know that Donald is a sailor at heart. I'm gonna pair that with these Saint Laurent Kurt Cobain glasses, which you've seen in my best of 2017 video. If you haven't, then it's gonna be here. All right, here or there, you know what I'm talking about. They also look great with this. And finally for bag, I'm planning on wearing this Gucci fanny pack, which is a super recent addition. It was kind of a Christmas present to myself. I'm pretty excited about it. And I think uh, it'll look really cute with the striped vibes. I style a lot according to color and kind of the color story, so. Does that make any sense to you guys? So yeah, this is my fifth outfit, and the bag it goes. By the way, yeah, I'm gonna probably refold this. This looks pretty bad right now. But trust me, it'll close, it'll be fine. It'll be great, don't worry about it. Also, because I'm only human, I pack myself just a couple basics as a backup, depending if it rains, I don't wanna be wearing long pants, or if it gets chilly, I have this Uniqlo Mickey flannel, which is great for layering, and again, I can wear it just as an outfit like this if I wanted to, with these vintage Levi's denim jeans, and an extra pair of Mini Me Paris. This is not yours, this is a bow, but it's from the same collection as the 25th uh, anniversary of Disneyland Paris, and they're pretty cute. And yeah, this can become an outfit itself, or I can easily layer it for warmth, or pair it with the shorts to cool it down with any of the other looks. So I always try to pack an extra outfit just in case the weather kind of changes on me. And also, you know, it gives you some different styling options if on the day of you kind of feel like switching it up. All right, now we got accessories and we've got some very important basics. I say we go with very important basics first. <laughs> In Florida, believe it or not, it actually rains quite a bit. So it's important to always come prepared. I often forget this, but not this time because I'm here and I had to think about what, what you guys would want to see. So thank you for keeping me accountable. Got myself an umbrella. It is actually raining right now. It is pouring rain. So I'm sorry if you could hear it. And I'm expecting Orlando to have a similar climate. Also a poncho. Uh, this guy is from Swims. They sent it to me, but Disney World sells a ton of them. It's important to like kind of save them and recycle them if you're planning on going back and revisiting soon. They're always super practical too. Uh, we try to bring our own back instead of always buying a new. Well, you're saving money because you're not always buying a new one. And also it's not great for the environment. So keep that in mind. If you do remember, bring your poncho. Also, magic bands. Uh, if you've been to Disney in the past three or four years, three years I think, you'll know that they established this new system. This uh, serves as your key to the parks, to your room, to do some room charging. Um, it's kind of all you need to, to 
survive in the park. Uh, I pack my own again because they do they do give you a new one if you're staying on Disney property. But because we've been there a couple times, I uh, I opt to get them to keep them for a future family, uh, recycle them, and I bring my own. Now the fun part, shoes. You've heard me talk about a couple pairs, and uh, yeah, here they are. My lineup for these five days, I've got a black sneaker, a silver sneaker, which kind of doubles as a white Converse, which I usually bring, but I'm really excited about these Master of Arts, so they're making the trip. And a pair of plastic sandals. These are super essential because a lot of the time, you probably like your sneakers and you don't want them to get soaked, which uh, might happen when you're in the parks. The rain kind of comes and goes, as I said, so these are super important to check the weather in the morning and if there's a chance of rain, go with the plastic shoes, you know? At least you won't ruin your shoes and uh, they look cute too. Especially like this kind of uh, slipper sandal is super on trend this year, last year, two years ago, I don't know. They've been around for a while but they look super cool with everything, so easy. And then these sock Balenciaga sneakers are my, my black option because I have a lot of black, red and gray as I said. So these three, are the perfect styling options for the colors I've got going on. And uh, yeah, they, they saved me from packing five pairs of shoes, which is so silly. As for bags, I'm a junkie. Uh, I can't help it. I, uh, I collect kind of Disney collection stuff, like different collaborations that come out. So when I get the chance to wear them in the motherland, I kind of want to pack a couple. So this little coach option with the Mickey ears, they actually sell it on Shop Disney uh, now. I think it was on sale over the holidays. I'm not sure if it still is, but I got it at the coach outlet. It's super cute goes with everything, it's white. White bags are kind of my favorite. This Gucci fanny pack, as I told you, is new. Fanny packs and tiny backpacks are the best for the theme parks because you get your hands free, in case you have a beverage and your phone, you're taking pictures, I don't know. I like not having to carry anything, so mini backpacks and fanny packs are definitely my fave. So this Chanel fanny pack is also coming along. Finally, I told you about this little Mickey Christopher Rayburns. Rayburns, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. It's his first trip and we'll see how practical he is, but he sure looks cute. There's a tiny zipper over here where I could fit stuff. There's actually a garment bag in there right now to keep him nice and safe. Ooh, and a hook. I don't know. Anyways, he's making the trip. I'm super excited to wear him in the parks and uh, hopefully he doesn't get rained on. Now for the final element of the trip. I call it my carry-on. This is a Dooney and Bork bag that my father got me last Christmas when we were in the park. And this is kind of the bag that I take for the day that we get there. I put all of my essentials for the car ride or the plane, depending on how you're getting there. And I also make sure to have the stuff I'm gonna need for the park. So when I get out of the car, I can easily pack the couple of necessities that I need. Go right ahead if the room's not ready. <laughs> so it has a zipper, which is great if you're storing your luggage at the hotel. And here I have everything from chargers to EpiPen for my husband, my pass for the parks, some blotting powder, passports, which is also coach and Mickey, a fidget spinner that is also Mickey. I think I have a problem. Anyways, you kind of gather what this stuff is for. All of my uh, kind of road essentials, the equivalent of your carry-on for the plane. But yeah, keep them nice and safe and still themed because of this nice Dooney and Bork compartment. Guys, I think that's it. Thank you so much for packing with me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below or DM me on Instagram if you don't follow me already. The link will be also uh, down in the description box. So thank you for packing with me. This was pretty fun. I would love to do it for other trips or if you wanna see kind of my how I pack my cosmetics or my jewelry, I'd be so happy to do that too. I wish you guys a super magical week. I know mine will be, not to rub it in, whatever. That was pretty rude, I'm sorry. But uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, thank you.